Hey guys, welcome to yet another tutorial video about WPF. So, last time around we looked at the very basic of layouting with the grid layout. The layout which is going to be your framework, which is going to make frames for you inside your forms, uh, represent your elements into tabular format and then make the look form a little more professional and a little more presentable. So, after the grid layout we're going to look at, have a quick look rather, at the stack layout the stack layout as the name suggests is all about stacking your elements together so we can stack them in a vertical format or into a horizontal format so for this uh, for this purpose or for this tutorial rather I'll be using the same project that we use for the grid layout so in that situation we'll be using two layouts in one particular project and then we'll be able to see how do we use the stack layout in conjunction with the grid layout so just have a look at my previous video to get up to terms with what we are going to do in the stack layout right now so let's start with defining a new row so let's go to row definition let's give it height as auto now we don't need to define a new column because i'll be using the existing two columns themselves so i'll be coming here at the last row of my labels and then I'll be adding a new tag called the stack panels. The stack panel is the tag that you use to create your stack layout. So the most important property in the stack panel tag is going to be orientation. The orientation property determines how your stack is rendered, rendered vertically or rendered horizontally. So let's start out by rendering our stack horizontally. Let's end this tag. Now, anything that you put any element that you put inside these two tags is going to be rendered into a stack which is horizontal but i don't want my stack to be rendered in the first row first column as you'll see it by default it will go to the first row first column because we have not defined where i need to place this stack so all i need to do is to define the grid dot row property and give it the number two because I want it to be my third row, the new row that I just defined. So the grid row position starts from 0, 1 and 2. So let's go and set this property to 2. Now I need to use both the columns. I don't need to use only one column. I need the, uh, both the columns to be encompassed by my stack over here. So all I need to do for that is write in grid dot column span and I'm going to write 2 so it encompasses both the columns so that is a neat trick to know about the stack panels or any grid layout element so we have a stack panel setup which is horizontally orientated so everything is going to be horizontal that is right next to each other so let's add two buttons over here let's have the bare basics of OK and cancel buttons so I'll have OK and cancel the most probably uh, what we are going to do with the uh, stack panels is going to be using them during the grouping of certain functionality which requires a flow that is the most times that we are going to use the stack panel and in this particular situation I would say that I can use my stack panel for having two buttons having OK and cancel now as you'll see they have been stacked right next to each other now they don't look so pretty being so close and so intimate with each other in this particular stack so what we'll do is we'll give them some, some margin the margin that we need to provide will be provided to the elements not the stack because my stack is perfect it is right inside the grid and it is on the grid border so it is working good I'll give my margin to my elements that is my buttons so just go inside your button tag and write in margin equal to let's say let's give it 10 so that's a neat margin property set to 10 and it makes the button look proper but my cancel button now is looking out of shape because the height has been set to auto so it will always take the height of the row so to replicate consistency I will just write margin equal to 10 for my cancel button as well and now you can see that the horizontal stack is looking perfect with these two buttons right 
rightly stacked right next to each other so this is the particular stack which is stacked horizontally now let's just change the orientation from horizontal to vertical so as you'll see once I change my orientation from horizontal to vertical the buttons are now right on top of each other and they are vertically oriented so let's just run this form once and have a look at how they look during runtime and as you'll see they look absolutely perfect so we have covered two basic things over here number one is to use the stack panel or the stack layout and stack your elements horizontally or vertically and number two is to use the grid layout along with your stack panel to make sure that your stack is appearing or rendered exactly where you want it to render so that was a very basic look at the stack layout and I'll be covering all the layouts quickly in my future videos so thank you for watching any queries or any questions that you might have just leave a comment or PM me and we'll try and get it solved so thank you for watching this video this tutorial kindly subscribe to my channel for more videos and tutorials and obviously leave a like if you like it so thank you for watching once again and have a great time.